Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So in this lecture, we will see how to make use of a referencing cells in the Excel. So uh, first, let me try to understand. Let us try to understand what exactly I want. See, I have written a total cost here, and then we have a railway project, building project, road project, and water supply project, right? Now, my requirement is that I want to know out of this total cost, what I have, out of this, how much percentage is my railway project, right? So how do you find the percentage? It's very simple. This amount, I'll divide by this amount. And if I multiply by 100, I'll get how much percentage is my railway project. In the same way, I'll do it for building project. In the same way, I'll do it for the uh, road project. In the same way, I'll do it for the exactly water project, right? So how we are going to do it? Very simple. I'll say equal to sign. I'll say this project cost. You divide it by the total cost. And if I hit, hit enter, so it is 0 0.06. I want in percentage, right? So what I'll do, I'll just multiply this value by 100. Multiply by 100, enter. So I got the answer 6.34. But it is not coming in percentage. Of course, percentage, I've written it here. So if you want, you can do that also. Okay, yeah. Now, uh, whenever you do, few people, when you do this, you may not get a proper answer. Like, I'll tell you what will happen. I'll just uh, take it out. See, the reason is that, since both of them are in currency, this is also currency, this is also currency. So, I'll, okay, what I'll be doing is I'll make, see, by default, uh, in your Excel sheet, there may be a chance, it may be in currency. Okay, I'll see, equal to sign, this amount, divide by this amount, if I do, and if I multiply by 100, so what is happening? 6.34, it is showing me the rupee symbol, right? So, some, some, sometimes this will come. So, in that case, what you do, you just select it, you go to this option here, and you can do this percentage symbol. But the moment you do the percentage, no, it will show you 633. Because in the Excel, whenever you are using a percentage symbol, you should not multiply by 100 again. Okay, you're getting my point. No? So I'll tell you the best method. I'll delete everything. I'll delete everything. Fine. So what you do, you just select all the cells. Select all the cells first. And go to the option here. And keep it in percentage directly. Simple. Okay. Then you come here. Then you come here. Say equal to sign this value divide by this value that's it again don't multiply by 100 excel knows that this is already you're looking for a percentage it will do the calculation you just have to enter you just have to hit enter button so you can say directly 6.34 has come now what i'll do i want for each and every of the column every of the row i'll just select on this and i'll drag it like this simple so i got the percentage everywhere so the problem is not here the problem will come now now again i want to know the cost of the building project so again, what I'll be doing, the simple option is that if you click, click on the equal to symbol, go to the building, you divide this by this value and hit enter, you'll get the answer. But imagine there are like 50, 40 to 50 rows, something like this. So do you think every time you go here, you do all these things, it will be time consuming. Then there is no point in working on Excel, right? So the best method is that what you can do is you just have to select this and you have to take it to the right side in this way. But again, this is the right way of doing. But again, you see the answer. It is coming like 8926. This is coming 65.29. This is like 3102. So what is the problem with here? The problem is that if I click on this, if I double click on this, what Excel is doing, you know, Excel is taking this value for the building project. I'm looking for building project. Excel has taken this value. I'm, I agree with that. This is fine. But it should divide this by 89,000, uh, 89,89,665. But what Excel is doing, it is looking for G5. See, try to understand. C5 means this is C column and this is fifth row. This is that cell, C5. It is fine. But it has taken divide by G5. So this is G and this is 5. That means Excel is taking divide by 6.34 it is taking. So that is the reason you are getting something like this. But this is not what I require, right? I want Excel to do a calculation like this, that Excel, see, you have to select this value and you divide this value by this value. This is the answer I'm looking at Excel, not something like this. That means Excel has done a wrong calculation for me. So now what I'll do, I'll delete everything. Now I'll give a proper input to the Excel. I'll say Excel, see, this is equal to symbol. You take this value. I'm looking for railway project. You have to take railway project value from here and you divide this by this value. That is fine. And if I drag, everything will come good. But the moment I drag it to the right side, what Excel is doing, you know, Excel is taking this value, but it is dividing it by G5 value. It, it should divide by this value, right? But it is dividing it by some other value. So that is a problem. Now I'll give an input to Excel that, see, there's one option called as dollar symbol. There's one option in Excel, which is a dollar symbol. Okay. So with a dollar symbol, we can anchor. Anchor means we can fix one particular cell. 
So which cell I want to fix? This total cost cell what I have, no? This has to be fixed. This particular cell what we have, it has to be fixed. So what I'll write, I'll click my, I'll keep my mouse here and I'll say F4. There's an option called F4 in your keyboard. Click on F4. The moment you do F4, then what is happening? What is happening? F, so this is your F column and fifth is this particular row. So if you're putting a dollar symbol before both of them, before the alphabet and before the number, this particular cell will be freezed. Whether you go on the right side or whether you pull it down, this cell will never change. But is that my requirement? No. My requirement is that this particular should this particular column should go down. Should go down. But it should not come to the right side. So if it should not come to the right side, what is on the right side? F. After F, we have G. That means wherever there is an alphabet, no, there I need to put the dollar. So moment I put the dollar symbol, it will freeze. This particular row will, this particular column will never go, will never move from here. But the cells like six, seven rows can move. Rows can move. That means six, seven, eight is a row. That is a number. So before the number, whatever dollar symbol I put, no, I'll take it out. Only on the alphabet, that is this, this particular column I'm freezing. The total cost column I'm freezing. And I'll put enter button now. Now you see the magic. I'll drag it like this. No problem. I'm getting a value. Similarly, I'll drag it on the right side. Now you see the difference. Can you see? You got the answer. Right? So what it has done now, now let me check it out. See, it is taking a building project value and it is dividing by total cost. Exactly. This is what I required. Come to the road project. Again, it has taken the road project value and it is dividing by the total cost. Exactly. This is what I was looking for. Similarly, if I click on this, if I click on water supply project, it will take I'm what cost of water project will be this value divided by the total cost. Again, you'll get the percentage. And if you add all the percentage, it will be hundred percentage getting my point. Now it's very simple. Just drag it like this. You'll get the final answer. Got it. So again, if you want you drag, you can drag it like this also. You will get the answer finish. Got it. So that is why this referencing is very important. Now let me tell you one more trick here. So the trick is that previously what I had done. Okay. Yeah, let me do one thing. I'll do it here. So here you just try to understand here. I had put this dollar symbol, isn't it? This dollar symbol where I put only on the alphabet F before the F I put. Now I'll change it. What I'll be doing now, I'll say this value. Try to understand the difference. This value, I'll go with the, I'll go with the, this value only railway project. Even though I'm writing in building project, I'll take this as a reference just to give you an idea what exactly will happen. And now I'll divide this by this value. And now I'll put the dollar symbol that is F4. So uh, let me keep the dollar symbol even before the alphabet and even before the number. That means I'm freezing my this particular cell. And if I hit enter and if I try to drag, no, I'll not get the same answer like I got previously. You see, I'm getting 7.27. .7, here it is 7. Why? The reason is that now what Excel is doing, you know, it is changing this railway project here on the April, it is taking this value, but it is dividing by this value, right? You're getting my point. Again, again, if I click on this, see, it is taking this value, but it is dividing by this value. But here in previous case, what used to happen? It used to take this value, divide by this value. This is the right way of doing. But here, since we anchored both things, here we have anchored, the alphabet is also anchored and also the number is also anchored. That means this particular cell is freezed. It will neither come down, neither it will go to the left, neither it will go to the right. So whenever you're using a double anchoring, then means that particular cell will be freeze. But this is not my requirement, so I'll delete it. I'll show you the difference between them. Got it. Now come to the another part. I'll show you this in a different way now. So for example, I'll give you one uh, method here. Let me copy this number. I'll say control C. I'll paste it here, control V. And now uh, these things are not required. Okay, this is not required for me. Say, okay, I'll just delete this part or let me hide it. Let me delete it. Okay. Fine. This is not required. Yeah. Yeah. So now my requirement, let us say this number, what I put it is in meter. I want the answer in mm. I want the answer in mm. Okay, so what I'll be doing, you know, what I'll be doing, we know that simple, we know that one meter is equal to thousand mm, one meter is equal to thousand mm. So this is in meter. 
So this answer I'll be if I multiply by thousand, I'll get the answer in mm, right? So what I'll be doing? I'll say equal to symbol. I'll say one point five. I'll multiply this by thousand, and I'll put enter. Now if I drag, now if I drag it to the down, no? Can you see what is happening? So it is giving my error like value zero value. Why? Because this particular option thousand I have not anchored. I directly dragged it down. So what Excel is doing, you know, it's taking two point five into this cell. This cell is blank. So two point five into zero is zero. So it is giving zero. Now here the value is va here. It is coming value. The reason is Excel is taking three point six into. It should take thousand. This is what this was my requirement. But it has taken the numbers in mm. It has taken this cell. So that is why you are getting the error. That is why whenever you are using such commands, you need to anchor this. That means what you will be doing exactly. One point five. You multiply this by thousand. But now, before that, you have to anchor. That means when I say anchoring, there is two kind of anchoring. One is double anchoring. Double anchoring means you are anchoring the columns also. You are anchoring the cells also. In this particular case, I want this thousand to be multiplied with all the number. That means this particular cell has to be freeze. That means even before the alphabet, I need to put one dollar, and even before the number also, I need to put one dollar. So I'll click on F4. So it will be a double anchor and put enter, and now you drag. And now, if you drag, no, you'll get the right answer. You see it? Can you see the difference now? Exactly. What Excel has done? Five point five into thousand. Then here also it has done two point six into thousand. This is what Excel has done. So this is double anchoring. Got it? Fine. Now let me change my problem statement. Now problem statement I'll change. I'll go like this now. So this is my problem statement now. Okay. Fine. This is not required. Yeah. Now problem statement I'll change. So first thing, first this number in meter what I have written, it will be converted into mm and it will be put here. This numbers whatever high, it will be converted into meter and it will be put here. So how we are going to do that? Again simple, equal to one point five. I'll multiply by thousand. So what you have to do? You have to freeze this particular cell, isn't it? So I'll keep my mouse here. I'll say F four. So it will anchor it. I'll say enter. And now you see if I drag it like this, I'll get the answer. Similarly, I'll drag it to the right side. Then also I'll get answer. You see, five thousand five hundred. How did I get? It took five point five into one thousand. Now if I drag it like this, you'll get the answer. Got it? No, this is one way of doing. Now let me change my problem statement. My problem statement is this particular cells what I have. It has to be multiplied by thousand. So I'll give a different color to that. This particular cell has to be multiplied by thousand. And here I'll give a number two thousand. And this particular cells what I have. It has to be multiplied by Two thousand. So now, how we are going to make use of your double anchoring? It's very simple. So in this case, what you are supposed to do, no, try to concentrate here. What I'll be doing, I'll say equal to symbol. I'll say this number multiply by thousand. Got it? But now, if I click on F four, it will put anchor here. But this is not required. This double anchoring is not required because the moment I take it to the right side, it will take five point five to thousand. This is not my requirement. I want five point five to two thousand to. Answer to come here. That means try to understand the logic. This particular cell is which one? F and this is sixty, right? Similar, this is G and this is sixty. You are able to understand. This is sixty, right? This is sixty. So that means this wherever the sixty is coming, that has to be frozen. That means this alphabet is not record because this is F column, right? When I come to this column, I want five point five into two thousand. That will come in G column. So G column, I don't want to freeze. But this row is not merging. Row is not coming down. Row is in single line. So what I'll do? I'll just remove the dollar symbol before the alphabet, and only on the sixty I'll put the dollar symbol. And now I'll put enter. Now you see the magic. If I drag it down like this, if I drag it down, I'll get the answer. And if I drag it to the right side, I'll get the answer. If I drag it to the right side, I'll get the answer. Why? What it has done? You see, five point five into two thousand it has done. Since I didn't did not anchor on G on F. So again, what has happened? It has taken G. Suppose if I had anchored on F, no, it would not have taken the G option. Getting my point, it it would not have taken. Now, if I try to drag it down, it will take the answer. Now you see here, five point one into two thousand, it has done. So you're getting my point. So in this way, you can make use of the anchoring button based on your requirement. You can make use of it. I hope you have got an idea, like how to make use of this anchoring button. Now we'll come to when we'll apply this on the real project. So this is one of my uh, quantity estimation course. So if you're interested, this course is available on Udemy. Okay, advanced quantity surveying. 
uh, which is almost a 52 hours of a content where I teach you uh, to do the estimation of a building. Whatever you can see, all these things, right? All these things I thought. So this is particular civil engineering branch. So there, if you come, uh, you'll get to know uh, almost you can see all the contents here. Okay. Slow footing, everything, even the uh, Excel sheet I've covered, but whatever I'm teaching you the Excel now, this much deep level, it is not covered here. Okay. Here only civil engineering aspects like BBS then estimation, all those things we have taught it here. Got it. So if you want, you can enroll in the course. Fine. Now come to this. Now I will apply the same logic here. Okay. Let us say this is my total cutting length. Whatever answer I should get here. No, I like, I'll, I'll explain you what has to be done. So what I need to do, this answer should be multiplied by 0 0.395. And in this particular cell, this answer should be multiplied with 0 0.617. In this particular cell, 27.14 should be multiplied by 0 0.888. So how we are going to do that, we'll do, we'll do that. So I'll say equal to sign 27.14. I'll multiply this by 0 0.395 and say enter. And now if I try it, try to drag it to the right side, let me check what is the problem. So is it that I'm getting a right answer here? No. Here what has happened? My Excel has taken this cell and it has multiplied by 0 0.617. But my requirement was it should take this value and it has to multiply here in this particular cell. In this particular cell, Excel should take 27.4 into 0 0.88. But what Excel is doing, no? Excel is moving. Excel, when I come to this cell, Excel has taken this value and it has multiplied by this one. So this is not my requirement. So what I'll be doing, now I'll use the referencing option. So how we are going to use the referencing option, I'll say Excel equal to sign this, you multiply by this one. Okay. But when I come to the right side, when I come to the right side, this value should not move. That means the first cell, what I'm putting, that is L15, I'll freeze it. Neither it has to go to the left, nor it has to go up and down. That means both L in the L. So this is L and this is your, which one? This is your L15. You can say this is L15. Okay. This is L15. So both the number and the digit I'm going to freeze. So I'll keep my mouse here. I'll click on F4. So it has put a dollar symbol. That means it will be freeze. And I'll put enter now. And now let me try to drag on the right side. Now you see the answer. See here, 27.14 into 0 0.61. So exactly this is what my requirement was. Again, click here. 27.14 into 0 0.3 Exactly. This is what, this was my requirement. You're getting my point, no? Again, 27.14 into 2.47 it has taken. So that is the reason I got an answer. So in this way, you can try to make use of the Excel sheets and make use of this dollar symbol. You got the application of this. You understood the application. No? So whenever you get such conditions, we can make use of this particular dollar symbol, which is called as referencing. And based on that, we can apply it on the live project. Okay. Got it. Similarly, you can do it for other stuffs also. Here, I've done it for the PCC offset and all. Okay. It's a simple trick to calculate uh, uh, the conversion factors. So here also you can see this is what I've written. The so same thing I've done it here. Of course, whatever I taught you here, that is enough. So try to understand. You need to do uh, practice. That is the main uh, motive. If you practice it, you'll be able to understand the difference of double anchoring. See, there are many things I thought. One is double. This is single anchoring. I've done the anchoring only on number. On the alphabet, there is no anchoring. Then comes a double anchoring where number and this thing. What is that? Alphabet. Number and alphabet both will be anchored. That is called freezing of a cell. The other is freezing of column and unfreezing the row. Something like that. So based on the requirement, we need to use it. So try to practice it. The same command I explained to you here also. The same command is explained here also. Try to make use of that command. Try and try to uh, use it on the project. So uh, this Excel sheet I have already attached. Try to practice on this Excel sheet so that you get an idea. Okay. Yeah. So we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.